So unless you're really, really bored and you want to see somebody playing with dirt and planting some fig trees or something, then I guess you could stay around and do so. And I hope you enjoy the video. See ya. So now it's gonna be selecting what I'm gonna put in the uh, five gallon pails. I have a couple of doubles, so I gotta eliminate some of those and be very selective because I only got a couple of five gallons. And as you could see, it's already like probably 87 degrees. Gotta clean up a little bit so I can work. Work in this area. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with the splash gun. So I cool down. So, so far, I cleaned up this pallet right here. There was a couple of doubles over here, which I moved all the way to the end over there. I moved one of the Siblawis, the bigger one, Siblawi, I moved it over here. And this is another Golden Riverside, which I'm, I put right here because I'm gonna move into the five gallons. And I have all these, all these are keepers. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that black mission inside there because I already have one in a big container. And then I got, you know, Peter's honey, other regular varieties. This is my issue right now. This is all the doubles I have. I heard Siblawis are really good. And I'm actually looking for those light colored fruits more in the sweet side instead of berry. I'm not very big on berries or berry flavor. So we'll see what I do. This is a lot of hard work. I got me a few more. Somebody's gotta do it. Alright kids, now that I'm done with the five gallons, now I got fig trees that I got from Tinkerbug Figs, which you guys should know who that is already, right? That's Christian, come on now. On OurFigs.com, he goes by C. Peters. Anyways, I buy from him because he's an awesome dude. You know what I'm saying? And the quality of the figs, they're really nice. And the prices are right too. What I'm trying to say is, thanks a lot Christian because of you. I really, really started all this fig stuff because you were the first one that actually sent me cuttings. But anyways guys, you gotta go and check out tinkerbugfigs.com and I'm gonna leave the link down below and you guys are gonna see, he still has a couple of varieties left but I believe he's running out. For the next season, Chris is gonna have a whole, a whole lot more. So now I'm gonna transplant those and I also got a couple of other new varieties so I gotta transplant those as well.
that's it all right guys so that is it for today i am gonna finish the rest later on or maybe tomorrow or maybe some other day but i am tired i still have to go to work i still have to pick up the kids and i still have to clean up all this mess don't forget to visit figdatabase.com and so you can contribute some information if you got pictures of figs or you got pictures of the leaves or the picture of the trees or you just want to rate something or anything like that there is absolutely no charge it's absolutely free to you so just go ahead just start using the website and helping out the rest of the community which we all need help and like I always say don't forget that I love you and I'll see you next time I got the biggest beach, I got the biggest beach.